Well, yeah, my topic is um, Triple F, F at a small scale. Um, just a few notes about me. My name is Christian Lanke. Um, I'm a collector and uh, collect many printed materials like books and postcards and so on from different fields. Um, you can um, see these fields are on the slide and or on my homepage. And my professional background is in digital libraries. I work for the University um, Library of Göttingen. Some of you probably know about it. And um, well, uh, the background of these projects that I'm going to present you with the pandemic. Um, it was certainly not only in Germany the case that uh, you were asked to stay at home uh, in spring last year. So um, I got bored rather quickly. And um, at first I started to uh, catalog my books on um, library thing, which is a great online platform for doing these things. And the next um, uh, thing I did was just um, building batches of different uh, materials or topics, for example, and digitize some of them. And um, well, it turned out later that the quality wasn't really good to when you digitize your printed material with a smartphone and camera. So um, I redid everything later on, but um, some ideas were born and those I'm going to present today. Um, at first, the technical requirements, since uh, my background is rather technical, I'm not uh, working uh, as a librarian, but as a programmer and so on. So um, I figured out that uh, the whole project sh shouldn't cost anything. Um, at best. It should be working offline since I don't have any internet connection at home. Well, at least uh, not a party tethered um, mobile phone connection. And um, it well should run um, as far as um, automatic as possible and should have some well, uh, common requirements like version management and uh, HTTPS. Um, on the uh, uh, requirement part regarding the, the contents itself, there was something like um, it should, shouldn't uh, need any metadata in the first um, uh, iteration, but it should be possible to um, add metadata later on. This is just about, well, me being lazy. So um, since I have um, uh, metadata, uh, for example, for the titles, uh, as I said, I've used uh, library thing. I don't, don't, didn't want to, um, for example, um, type in structural metadata or something like that. But uh, in the future, um, I would like to be um, able to do so. So um, apart from these um, technical and uh, other requirements, the obvious solution was to use IIIF to um, present and well, um, encode the metadata I have for my um, collections. The next point um, is about the infrastructures. Um, since I was aware about the contents that I want, would like to present and a rough way how to do it, I decided on um, a hosting provider, which um, in this case is uh, GitHub. You are certainly aware of GitHub. It's just a provider usually for um, Git repositories, but it does uh, a lot of more things nowadays. Uh, for example, there's GitHub Pages, which is um, one can think of it like some uh, free uh, web storage. There's GitHub Actions, which is um, the possibility to run server side um, any task you want, um, at least as far as you're able to express it in a, a YAML file. Basically, it's just run some Unix commands, run some tools, and um, well, yeah, do some other steps. This is the, the background of uh, GitHub Actions, is of course for testing, either. Um, unit testing or um, other testing methods. And um, I found this very suitable to um, just create some websites um, or generate some websites from 
from the bit, uh, from a few YAML files and uh, Bitrock Markdown. Well, in my case, um, the uh, the workflow um, run on a GitHub is quite easy. Um, the first thing is uh, just get um, enough uh, free space and a runner. Um, uh, the, um, there's a slide on why this is important later on. Then install some requirements. This is in my case, uh, for example, Python, since I wrote some of my scripts in Python. Then um, download a few Docker images. This is needed, for example, for the um, uh, triple life derivative um, generation or for some image operations and so on. And well, then um, if everything is set, um, just generate from um, some metadata the um, triple F manifests, uh, the according uh, tiles of JPEG files, and deploy them to external storage if necessary. This um, is only necessary for uh, projects involving whole books. Well, and then generate additional images. This might be pub icons or um, just some uh, PNG representations of vector graphics and so on. And um, after that, I'm running Hugo. Hugo is a static site generator. Um, some of you are certainly available, uh, aware of it. Um, there have been has been a talk um, uh, the past days on using static site generators um, to generate triple F manifests. And the next step is just deploy them to GitHub pages. Um, from there, they will be served um, to a user. Well, GitHub, GitHub um, has its uh, limitations. Um, this is uh, also true for the paid version of GitHub. Um, some of you are certainly aware of it, that there are two different um, variants. One is the free solution, which I'm using here, and one is the um, paid solution, which provides um, uh, some um, fixes for, for those um, problems lined out here, but not for all. For example, you can buy more um, storage space on GitHub, but it's not available in every um, part of the services they provide. Um, it's, for example, limited um, and doesn't work um, with the runners. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Yeah, and then to work around those limitations, um, I've created some solutions. For example, um, generating manifests and tiles can be just uh, chunked. Um, create, for example, a batch of um, tiles, for example, from, for one book, um, upload them to another server, and then um, well, remove the results from the runner and start the next um, book. Um, and um, it's also possible, and there's a proof of concept for that, uh, using um, modern um, image compression um, algorithms. I've played around with JPEG XL, which is uh, finalized uh, just a few months ago. And well, the next limitation is the runtime. So uh, since many, um, many things are generated, um, it takes compute time, and um, in a free uh, in, a, in a free tire, you don't um, get as much as you want, but you are limited, not only to um, the uh, the amount amount of time uh, in a single run, but also um, uh, there's a, a limit for uh, consumed time uh, in a month, but I never actually hit that mark. Well, now um, I want to give you a short overview um, on the um, tools I've used. Um, this is just in, in order of the um, workflow um, that I've used. The first thing um, was ScanTailor, which is a quite good tool for post-processing. I'm not sure if it works um, on a large scale, but if you're doing everything by hand, like I did, um, then it's uh, very usable. The next thing or the next issue I had, um, and this relates to the run uh, runtime issue, um, 
there are many implementations which can tile your um, JPEG images into um, smaller chunks and uh, provide the uh, triple life manifest for that. And I've tested three. Um, one is the Python tool that's part of, um, well, sorry, I forgot the name. Then um, there was a Go implementation I've tested, but um, it wasn't fast enough either. And I um, got stuck with uh, libvips. And um, this is very great um, since um, it also had, for example, the um, JPEG XL um, implementation ready a few months ago. Well, it took just, uh, I guess, two months or something like that um, uh, after the reference implementation was out and then it was already integrated. Then, of course, I've used Hugo, um, which is, well, it's, it's their advertisement, but certainly the world fastest uh, static site generator which in turn just uses um, a mix of YAML and uh, Markdown to, to generate the site. And of course, um, the interface uh, between your local file system and GitHub is Git. On the front end side, um, I've also tested several um, Triple F viewer implementations, for example, open layers. Um, I had a brief period of time where I um, used leaflet, but that uh, wasn't that much extensible as I wanted to have it. Um, I've used, of course, Mirador, which is um, quite good and has also a good support on GitHub. Um, since I wanted to in include some features um, of the specification uh, that aren't uh, implemented in all viewers. And um, then the usual um, suspects like jQuery, Bootstrap, and so on. Well, and this is um, a short overview of the workflow. Um, just, I won't read this slide yet. I'm not sure how good I'm into in the time. And, um, well, the first lesson um, that I've learned is it works. So um, if you just want to present a, a very small collection or personal collection, or maybe for an exhibition, a small one or something similar, or you just have a small um, archive, then you can just um, use a GitHub-based workflow to provide your um, collections online. Um, it doesn't scale very well, um, not uh, only because of the um, uh, issues related to um, GitHub, but also because of the um, manual labels uh, that I've included uh, or did for um, digitizing material. Um, and of course, um, if you just get well, lots of books, then, then you're completely lost using this approach. Another thing that um, that hit me a bit was um, that I wasn't able to see uh, something like a direct mapping between the features from the specification to the viewer. Um, there was um, the cookbook talk uh, yesterday, and um, um, there was also, um, as far as, as I understand it right, um, the proposal to just, for example, uh, have a section um, which a viewer does under which viewer can handle which feature. This is something that is certainly missing. Um, as I've written here, um, maybe there's um, another way would be to have some sort of certification like this is gold, this does everything from the specification. This is silver and this is bronze, for example. Um, yeah. And I'm far from being finished. Um, there are several um, next steps that I would like to take. Um, well, not within the next few months, but um, well, starting with autumn. Um, for example, interacting more with materials, um, integrating maps. Then um, I've also have a small collection of stereoscopic images from around 1900, 
um, they're um, looking into ways to present them better. better. And of course, um, the thing that I've left out um, early on was uh, the metadata support. Um, since IIIF is not only about presenting uh, things uh, in a well for the humans, but also uh, into uh, in, in fostering interoperability, there's uh, certainly something that I can improve my projects on. And um, uh, for example, on on one architecture-related project, I already had a um, conversation with. Um, some guy also here in Germany who's doing a, a very large architecture database and uh, he suggested me to just um, ingest my images into um, a wiki source and well that's that's something that, that of course I could, could download uh, upload every image I have but um, without metadata it's uh, well it's not that good in terms of discoverability and so on well, and now I'm looking onto my clock, and I guess I'm also, I'm, I'm not sure if I have time to do the demo. So um, maybe if we just um, wait for question and then look at the clock again, or? Sure, we can do it either way. We've got about three minutes. So um, there are a couple of questions. Um, yeah, then I guess we should do the questions. OK, so the first one is um, digitizing using a mobile phone. Uh, did you find the modern phones produce high enough quality um, for the IIIF images? No. Are we that's... able to provide these different formats? Uh, no, that's, that's the reason why I've said um, um, they were gone quite quick. Um, I've re, re scanned everything <laughs> using a flatbed scanner. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And what about discovery of, the, of these little repositories? Have you considered how you'd make this discoverable to others? No, not yet, but that's um, uh, related to the metadata um, issues. So, um, well, uh, I'm not sure if, if the, which way around is the best way. Um, having the um, contents um, provided to some bigger um, repository like Wikisource or um, try to get everyone into my uh, small repositories. That's, that's a, maybe there's some advice from this group. Right, We've got two minutes and I'd really like to see it. So I don't know if you would mind doing a really quick demo. Okay. Well, um, uh, the address um, from this page is also in the last slide of the presentation. And this is a list of all the um, things uh, I did. And um, there are also some older blocks. So um, uh, not everything is related to IIIF. But um, I guess one of the um, uh, interest, more interesting one is um, this one, uh, which is um, about fashion, um, mostly German. Um, uh, fashion magazines from um, the last hundred years um, and uh, well okay this is one example um, doesn't work very well I guess with the um, large screen monitor so um, what I would like to show here is um, one example for the um, part of the specification that aren't implemented by every um, viewer. As you can see here, we have two pages next to each other. And some more, ah, that example. Well, what I would like to show um, is about having um, uh, gaps in between. Um, because I wasn't only lazy regarding the metadata, but also in parts uh, in terms of digitization, I just uh, scanned uh, the more interesting parts. And um, one result uh, was that there are gaps, but um, for example, um, fashion magazines um, quite often have um, a layout which spans two pages. So um, uh, it uh, was a, a bit of work or, well, it was needed to 
apply some uh, Mirador patch to make this feature work. Well, and then another thing was um, uh, use, uh, creating animations using a IIIF. This is done in other um, libraries, but I've just re-implemented using just um, open layers since um, the, the metadata needed, uh, needed for this um, was easier to um, integrate into YAML. And um, we, well, uh, I guess the time's up. So have a look at this um, overview page. Um, not every blog is available in um, English. Um, maybe you find something interesting and don't uh, hesitate to send me questions by email. Thanks. That's really great, thank you. And if, if you put that URL in the chat on Hoover, I think that'd be great. Um, there's also another question on chat, which uh, I'm afraid we haven't got time to go through now, but uh, you can see you've been very busy with your uh, pandemic isolation. Uh, so thank you for sharing all that. Thanks. Um, so this is the, the last session on track two, um, but there's one more session uh, if you want to switch over to track two, track one, track two. Um, so you can see that on the agenda. So thank you all. Thanks. Bye.